Whoa. Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Doing It With Jason. I am Jason, and today I'm going to be showing you some cabinet making basics. I have a job that I'm working on, and it is a bench seat. So it's pretty much going to be just like a kitchen cabinet, vanity cabinet, but yet it's a bench seat, so slight changes as far as measurements go, but the idea is still the same. I'm going to show you how I'm going to be putting it together and everything in this series, but first, we are going to be showing you how to lay out the cabinet. So how do I get, you know, my measurements? How do I transfer my measurements from the wall? Okay, so it's an inside cabinet. It's going inside two walls. So it's going to be wall to wall. How do I get that measurement into a cut list? You know, how do I turn that into something I can actually use at my table saw? That's what I'm going to be showing you on this episode. So be sure to stick around and let's get started. Okay, so first things first is our bench seat. Our bench seat is exactly from wall to wall, 44 inches. Now, that's from left to right, and it's gonna be total of 18 inches tall. Now we have our measurements, we know what we're building, now let's figure this out. So first, what I'd normally do is just draw the bench seat. Just very rough drawing, it doesn't matter, this is gonna help us laying everything out. I know that I want two drawers, and the opening, and they will be inset, which we'll talk more about that as we, you know, continue with this job. It doesn't have to be inset. What you're doing, it doesn't matter if you're building it full overlay. I'll discuss all that in the future as well. So we know it's 44 inches. So this is just going to help us, you know, get our brain around everything. And we know it's 18 inches tall total. Now I know I'm going to be putting another top on here, and that's going to make it the 18 inches that we're gonna go into later on. So technically from below the top to the side, there's a lot of markings here. Uh, it's gonna be 17 and a quarter because we're gonna deduct the top. We'll get into that later. Now we know we have two drawers, so we're gonna center these drawers roughly, not roughly, but exactly. And they're gonna be like pull out drawers, so their handles are gonna be built into the front. Now, what I am gonna show you is how I put together, this is a framed cabinet. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to hesitate on that. There's frameless and there's face frame cabinets. This is a face frame cabinet. So what we're looking at is these are our face frames. So this one is going to be a roughly five inches tall by what we got to figure out in a little bit. This face frame is going to be inch and a half wide, inch and a half wide, and inch and a half wide. Now, how do we get this measurement? Well, it's very easy. We have 44 inches. We subtract an inch and a half and an inch and a half, which is three inches total, and that's going to give us that piece is going to be five inches by 41 inches. Now we're going to need one of those. This is our cutlass right here. And then the top one, same thing. It's going to be one of those at an inch and a half by 41. Boom. Look at that. We're already halfway there for our face frame. Uh, and these are called styles, and these are called rails. So that way, you know, if you ever hear me saying styles or rails, Rails always go left and right, styles go up and down. The rails usually go into the styles. There's so many different varieties and things people do, but that's the most part. Now we need our styles. So we know there's two of those. They're at inch and a half by, we're gonna do 17 and a quarter. And there we go, now we have our face frame. Holy moly, that was pretty easy, right? All right, so now we're gonna move on to laying it out storyboard style and that's gonna show us pretty much all of our internals of the cabinet, the plywood inside that I'm gonna be doing. It's gonna give us our bottom shelf, our two sides, and our top stretchers, just like we talked about in our intro video, the last one that I released yesterday, but... Okay, storyboard time right here. We're gonna use all of our measurements from the bench seat that we did in the face frame pretty much and transfer it into a nice flat surface from left to right that's going to give us all of our measurements and tell us what our pieces are going to be. This one's a very simple one, so it's actually a perfect one to get your feet wet with. Now, I'm going to overall measure my 44 inches, which is what my cabinet total left to right is. I'm using a marker for you to see. I highly suggest a pencil because you want these measurements to be right on the thickness of a marker, not cool. Now, 44 inches is right there. And then, now I have my width and my length, and I'm gonna do this on both sides. I'm gonna redraw my face frame onto here so I know exactly where I'm going left and right. So that will be inch and one half total. And I'm gonna write that there. Boom, I know that. And then I'm gonna go here to the 44, deduct an inch and a half, which is 42 and a half, and write my inch and a half as well. Now also what I'm gonna do is put my sides of my cabinet here. Where are my plywood sides going to be? I know I want them right on the inside wall of my face frame because they're going to hold my uh, drawer slide in 
And, you know, and it just makes things a lot easier. And it's going to give me an ear that I like measurements to be really tight. So when I'm going wall to wall, I sometimes go a little heavy. And that ear, I could always stand and adjust to the wall contours. I suggest you can go a little under and put a little trim piece there. But if you really want to work it in there and get it nice and smooth, going a hair heavy is very nice. And you could always stand back or, you know, cut it even with the wall. So now three quarters is right in the center of inch and a half, obviously. I'm using a piece of three quarter of an inch uh, plywood. So I'm gonna draw that and I could either A, put it on the outside right here, and then that would give me three quarter space for my face frame to my inside. But what I'm gonna do is put it right on the inside because that is where I want it. I'm gonna do that on both sides. And then I can now, I know exactly where my sides are gonna be on the cabinet. So now I could burn an inch, but I'm not gonna because you can't really see it here uh, on there. But burning an inch is just when you go to the one that takes away any play you have on your tape measure. So we'll just burn the inch, what the heck? Uh, because I already know my measurement because this one's pretty simple, but it is exactly 41 inches. So it's gonna be the same as my base frame is on here. Uh, and that is because this one, like I said, is a really easy setup because I'm putting my plywood on the inside of my face frame. So therefore it will be lined up exactly with that. And what I'll do is it'll be 41, but I'm going to probably make it a hair heavy 41 and maybe a 16th. That gives me a little bit of play. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't want it over extending inside of my cabinet. And there you go. So with that measurement of the 41, I'm actually going to have my complete measurement which is pretty cool, let me show you that. Okay, so since I have my measurements now, my plywood, I can make a cutting list for everything that I just measured. So now depending on what you're doing, you know, my sides and my bottom, you know, it all depends on what you're doing, how deep the whole product is, but you know, you just, you'll make that list right here, which is, you know, pretty simple. So my sides are gonna actually be uh, two of those, and this is for my plywood. And for plywood, I highly suggest you know, some kind of maple domestic plywood is my favorite. It's available at Home Depot and Menards. Menards is one of my favorite places. Uh, hashtag not sponsored. But three quarter inch plywood is, you know, domestic is my favorite. It's just like this piece that I'm writing on right here. And if you look at the side view, let's see if we can get to the side of this right here. So here's what the side of the plywood I'm using to write on is actually the same stuff that I build my cabinets out of. You can see it's seven ply uh, plywood. It's what I, you know, it's one of the things I recommend totally for plywood. Don't use exterior plywood at, at these big box stores. You use a domestic maple plywood. Okay, so now back to this. The two pieces are my sides. So what I would do is, you know, maybe just write your little note here, sides, two of those. And I know I want this thing 22 inches deep for my inside plus the uh, three quarter inch face frame. So that's gonna be 22 and three quarter. <laughs> And then I want my quarter inch back, then I'm gonna put on that maybe 24 inches. So, or 23 inches total. So there you go. So now we're just gonna say, now this one's gonna be 17 and a quarter, which is my height, because these are my sides that are gonna be all hidden behind the uh, face frame, by um, the 22 inches deep. Now my bottom is what we just figured out with our storyboard down here, and that's gonna be the same depth of uh, 20, oops, of 22 inches. I kind of like keeping everything lined up. It kind of helps. Uh, so it's going to be 22 inches deep by the 41. So 41 inches was what we figured out in our storyboard down here from left to right. So we put it here on the, this. Now my top stretchers, which if you're not sure what a stretcher is, is the part that's going to go from the top left to right inside the cabinet. And you can watch my previous video on that one if you uh, are confused. I will do two of those at 41 by three inches, and that's gonna be my top two rails, and then one of them at 41 by six, and that's gonna be my back rail, which is gonna help us screw to the wall and all that good stuff. Well, and there you guys go. Hopefully that explained everything for you as far as me starting this cabinet that I'm working on and for you starting your cabinet you're working on. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know down below. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Uh, I'll be making plenty more videos on this. There's like six steps to this. There are six steps to this program, and it's gonna be coming up all shortly as one video probably, but we're gonna lay these out. This is the first step, which is measure, layout, and cut list. Step two is gonna be cut everything. Step three is gonna be assemble cabinet. 
Uh, step four is going to be assemble face frame. Number five is going to be attached face frame to cabinet box. And number six is going to be sand and finish. All that I just found on this chalkboard right over here, which is my handy dandy notepad keeper. So yeah, I hope you guys stick around, tune in to all these wonderful episodes. Hopefully you learn a lot. I've been doing this for a long time. So it's time to, you know, show you guys so you don't have to hire people like me to do it when you can just do it yourself, especially if you're making just one cabinet. Psh, totally awesome. All right. See you guys.